Hello guys, good evening once again. This is Mike Padua and we're back to our Sunday update on uh, Typhoon Jenny or Koina for this uh, first day of October 2023. And this is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 in partnership with Naga College Foundation, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Avenue Plaza Hotel, the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman Gabi Bordado of the 3rd District of Kamakiri Sur. And before we begin, we would like to uh, promote, again, uh, Comunidad's uh, Climate Action Center. If you're interested, visit our website, typhoon2000.ph, and click on the first banner you'll see, and uh, there will you will be uh, forwarded to a form, a Google form, for you to fill up if in case you are interested to uh, know about their climate action center or you can email uh, Mr. Iron Cabasal at uh, iron.cabasal at comunidad.co or his cell phone number you can call him at 0976-163-7245 for more details okay this is a good product from Comunidad and uh, there are already a, a number of LGUs and companies around the Philippines who uh, purchased or got this uh, very good product to fight off uh, this uh, upcoming uh, climate change, okay? And uh, let's uh, begin with our update. Here's the latest uh, fast animation from the University of Wisconsin Tropical Cyclone page. As you can see, the uh, tropical cyclone has rapidly intensified. Yesterday, it's still a tropical storm and it's now a full-grown typhoon, category 1 with uh, sustained winds of uh, 140 kph, one minute average, and it's currently moving closer towards the northern uh, portions of the Philippine Sea. And uh, within uh, Wednesday or Thursday early morning, it is expected to pass north of uh, Batanes. It has changed. The forecast has changed. Yesterday, it's um, moving directly over Itbayat. But on the latest run right now, it looks like it could hit the southern part of Taiwan based on the new tracking of this typhoon. And it's likely to uh, be in a category of uh, 3, okay? And it is expected to reach category 3 level once it passes through the north of Batanes uh, sometime in the evening of the Wednesday, October 4, or early morning of Thursday, October 5, and a possible landfall over the southern portion of Taiwan and let's hope that the track will no longer uh, go back to uh, Batanes so that these islands will uh, remain away from uh, damaging winds but expect tropical storm force winds of 60 to 100 kph and some uh, on and off uh, occasional to torrential rainfall will be expected when the rain bands of uh, Typhoon Jenny passes by uh, within the next three to four days okay so right now the uh, southwest monsoon like i said is weak there are uh, patches of thunderstorms being experiences being uh, experienced over mimoropa visayas mindanao particularly the western sections sambanga peninsula and also at barm and the surigao provinces here in Bigo, it's uh, quite uh, light winds from the southwest, uh, and uh, it's all gloomy all uh, throughout the day, with uh, less sunshine, but there are some thunderstorms nearby, and also across central Luzon, this is uh, probably due to the trough, or the uh, monsoon trough, uh, where the typhoon is embedded, and... Uh, this LPA to the southeast of Guam, or south of Chuk State, has dissipated, and we are uh, only observing a near equatorial trough, but we are going to observe this for possible uh, development of a new LPA in the coming days as uh, Jenny is uh, moving closer towards the uh, northern portions of the uh, Batanis group of islands. So here's the zoom in satellite animation from windy.com, and as the evening progresses, this is uh, the satellite loop. Around 4 p.m. this afternoon up to 10 p.m. tonight. You can clearly see here the uh, banding eye starting to appear but still uh, being uh, covered by its uh, very high canopy clouds. Okay, 
and uh, the winds is uh, uh, increasing it's now at 140 kph one minute average and you can clearly see here some live uh, live uh, global lightning reports within the satellite feed there is a strong thunderstorm here over northern and central Luzon as well as over Mindanao uh, Palawan and along the circulation of Typhoon Jenny and if we take a look now at the uh, last track that we created this is track number three around 12 noon uh, today uh, the uh, forecast track has shifted more to the north and we are going to create a new track after this video and it's most likely the new track will be passing here along the southern tip of Taiwan it's uh, starting to move more to the north just like I said yesterday we have a corner of uncertainty and it looks like uh, northern Luzon is slowly being spurred by this cone of uncertainty and if the track continues to go up the island named Shizon of Taiwan will suffer the worst from this uh, that's flying typhoon. Okay, the forecast winds by uh, Thursday or Wednesday will be around 185 to 205 uh, kilometers per hour. So please take on uh, some precautions up there over Batanes and uh, Taiwan. Although uh, Batanes will be spurred from the uh, worst part of the storm if it continues to go up towards. Taiwan and for the uh, Asian uh, tracks this is what I said earlier that the uh, shift yesterday from here so there's a shift on the uh, track yesterday the uh, forecast uh, track of all Asian agencies is somewhere here okay and right now it's starting to move more to the north and it's now showing this way so uh, although it's still uh, three days to go let's hope the forecast continues to go up and uh sparing the philippine islands now if we take a look at the uh, the global models the typhoon global models it looks like after 48 hours up to 120 hours or so five days from now all of the models are not blended and it looks like uh, it's still very uncertain where it will go but uh, based on what we see there's a possibility that it will move towards southern taiwan look at the american model it's performing a clockwise uh, track okay well the european model of the ecmwf shows a consistent track uh, moving towards the uh, southern uh, coastal waters of Taiwan and dissipating here south of Hong Kong while the uh, Canadian model is more uh, moving towards the north then it will uh, uh, move southward across uh, Batanes so it's not yet uh, realistic as of this time so we will monitor this in the coming days but uh, when it comes to uh, the storm making landfall over Luzon is uh, still uh, not sure. Uh, but uh, we can say that uh, based on the majority of the computer models, it's already safe. But uh, Batanes is not yet out of the woods. So this is the ensemble from the European model as of 8 a.m. this morning, released at 4 p.m. this afternoon. And this is another one that we are watching. There is there's a possibility of another LPA forming here in the vicinity of Guam. And it looks like it will follow the track of Typhoon Jenny. But still early to tell if it will follow the track. Sometimes uh, storms move towards the southern Luzon or Visayas. But uh, based on what we are seeing right now, it looks like the track is more towards the same uh, direction where Jenny is moving right now so uh, let's wait and see this is a frontal system it's a non-tropical uh, system so we are not going to discuss this so we are more focused on this next one uh, that will uh, eventually develop in the coming days as Jenny moves out of the Philippine air responsibility within three to five days from now now for the rainfall accumulation forecast, 
It's still the same. Most of the rainfall from this uh, typhoon of more than 100 millimeters per day is expected to reach uh, Batanes and Mabuing Group of Islands. So uh, when it comes to damaging winds, it looks like it will pass to the north of uh, Basco, while uh, the heavy rainfall will still be experienced across these areas. Uh, actually, it's quite a relief since it will uh, have much rainfall to uh, water the irrigation uh, farmlands of the uh, extreme portions of Luzon. And it also includes uh, areas like uh, the northern Cagayan, in Ilocos Norte, uh, Apayao, and Kalinga, but the rest of the zone because region is more of a localized uh, thunderstorms, nothing unusual. Uh, the southwest monsoon is currently weak. These are isolated to scattered rain showers and thunderstorms across Mimoropa and the western sections of Visayas. Okay, so there you go. That's the latest update for this Sunday evening, October 1st, first day of October. And we will be back tomorrow, Monday, October 2, to give you the very latest on the approaching Typhoon Jenny, which is aiming towards southern Taiwan. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Padua saying good night to all. Have a great uh, week ahead. Stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherwiser, hashtag typhoonwiser. And thank you so much for supporting and watching our channel.